Previously on Peacemaker Glorious Princess, the traitorous prince Dark Knight killed King Dot and took over the capital with his zombie and brainwashed army, thanks to Spider Venom's assistance. Fortunately, the light spirit taught Gloria how to use the unifier sword to free people from brainwashing. She and Bamboo Blade managed to convince Duchess Mirror Lake to join her cause, but then they had to defend Silkland from Dark Knight's army. They seemingly defeated Spider Venom, only it was actually a zombified du body double. Also, the fist ending of the dice game turned out to be non-canon, and I'm still salty about that. Do you know the name of the bandit boss? Iron Axe. What do you think? Sounds bandit-like, right? So many people are named after their weapons, huh? What about I name Bamboo Blade? What does that sound like? Uh, Bamboo Blade-like. Uh, not Warrior-like? The same way this kingdom has the three silvers of the kingdom, the Scarlet Empire also has what is called the Free Scarlets of the Empire. Rubies, Rouge, and Red Wine. All of them sell for a lot of moolah. Correspond to Chrysal Barrel by Pigeon. This is a letter just to Chris Princess Chrysal Barrel. Dear Princess Chrysal Barrel, this is Gloria. My deepest condolences for the loss of your father. What horrible fate our countries have had to share? I plan to fight Dark Knight and to do so, I must first convert the band space on Mount Highfort over to our cause to prevent future church strife. You mentioned the possibility of discussing how we can help each other. Once we have dealt with the bands, I'm hoping you might agree to a journey with a few of your best men up Mount Highfort to exchange armaments. Also, I pray that the Light Spirit will protect our lands. I eagerly await your response. Sincerely yours, Gloria O'Don. I really hope... I really hope that the merchant isn't secretly working with the... Uh, with the uh, dark lands and sharing all our information, all our letters with them so that they know what we're up to. Can I trust this to you? Leave to me, your highness. My trusty pigeon will see to it. Whenever I trade some of the free silvers to Pebble in exchange for free, the free scarlets, we have to trek up Mount Highford and conduct business at the gateway there. I mean, I don't mind a trek, we also have to avoid bands along the way. It would be great if there was a wire mountain path between the two countries. Imagine how many business opportunities it could promote and how many people it would feed. So my distant relatives are in the land of a band of bandits. The soil in that area was always very poor and didn't yield enough harvest to make a living. Then the plague of 10 years ago dealt a devastating blow. So many of the people turned to fever in order to feed their families. I knew it could not have been by choice. Well, for some it's by choice, but for a lot it's not by choice. Even I almost died from that plague. It stands the reason that the people were hit even harder. And I don't think there's, there was enough of that elixir to go around unless they managed to reverse engineer it. There's a valley in Mount Highfort. It's a pass between our kingdom and the Scarlet Empire, but unfortunately it was blocked by a giant rock that crashed out a few years ago. I wonder if it's possible to destroy that rock. If we blow up the giant rock, it will greatly facilitate dealings between the two countries. Perhaps the black moth power will come in handy. There have been exchanges be between our kingdom and the Scarlet Empire, but it's very limited because of the dangerous Mount Highfort on the border. The founding monarch of our kingdom was the man with silver hair. That of the Scarlet Empire was the man in scarlet armor, and that of the Cerulean land was the man with a Cerulean shield. These legendary figures are known as the Free Peacemakers, and were allies in the sealing of the Dark Mother a thousand years ago. As such, the Free Countries have been allies for a millennium. And that is why I have been in correspondence with Princess Chrysal Barrel of the Scarlet Kingdom for over ten years. I do believe I've done all I can for today. I'll pray to the Light Spirit before I retire for the night. End the day. Home. Gloria. Yes, Your Majesty. Do you remember how legend states the free peacemaker steal a Dark Mother? The man of silver hair and his companions united all the people against the Dark Ones. The Light Spirit, touched by the bond between humans, gave the Peacemakers the divine power to summon the Giant. The world is what forms the Giant, which can be made fuss. His flesh should be made out of the seas, his flesh out of the land, his hair out of plants, and his skin out of animals. But you had to do human sacrifices for that. With the power of the Giant, humankind defeated the Dark Mother. Then they positioned the four grand temples to seal her. What do you think was the key to human victory in that great war? Faith and bond between people. Good, you are worthy to send up the man of silver hair. I'm pretty sure it was a human sacrifice ritual. Brother. Faith, perhaps. But the bond between people is a fool's ideal. You can't rely on such nonsense in the fight against the Dark Ones. I seriously doubt the man 
Whip Silverhair was ever as naive as you or her father. A dream. Hmm, considering that the man of silver hair probably was complicit in the human sacrifices, I think Dark Knight might have an unintentional point there, huh? Brother, why'd you kill her father? Father, I will inherit your will and that of the man of silver hair. Oh, Light Spirit, please guide my fire spirit in the afterlife. And please, help my brother see the light. Why do you name your brother? Why was he even named Dark Knight anyways? Isn't he on the? Wasn't he born in the light with everyone else? That's so weird. Gloria and Bamboo Blade won Mirror Lake's approval and beat back the zombie army sent by Spider Venom. And soon afterwards, they received news of the fall of Riceland. Oh man! And there's the rock we're supposed to destroy in order to meet Christ's soul Barrel. Since Mount Hyfor is infested with bandits, it's necessary to convert them to prevent future unrest before setting forth to liberate Riceland. Plus, they will make good meat shields. This is also the only means of meeting with Princess Chrysobarrel. And so Gloria and her men march to Mount Hyfor. Hmm. Oh no! They have archers! Freeze! Everything from here on is under Boss Iron Axe's control. Mirror Lake, what's a big shot like you doing here? I am the Princess Gloria O'Don. We have no hostile intentions and, and wish us to hold a peace talk with Mr. Iron Axe. A peace talk? Bullshit, they must be here to wipe us out. We're gonna fight them off here. You go report to the boss. Don't die, here. Oh no. Do I have. So. Do I have to- am I allowed to KO them normally, or do I- am I forced to use Cleansing Light? Your Highness, I'm afraid we'll have to force our way through. It appears we have no choice, but keep bandit casualties to a minimum. As your Highness wishes. No winning this with our fists, huh? So we're to minimize casualties, my unit carries white moth powder that can paralyze the enemy. White moth powder? Okay, what? What? Okay, I think you could at least one-shot one of the bandits, but they hit pretty hard. Ten MP damage. I see. This is like your version of cleansing light. But th does it? W are zombies still immune to it? Is the real question. Ah, they hit pretty hard though. And Mirror Lake is kind of slow too, so her MP. Attack will not arrive in time. Also, white moth power actually costs MP. A bloodless victory, huh? Ray the white moth power, let him have it. Ugh. Why not kill us? As I said before, we're here for a peace talk. Detain them, don't be too rough. Let's move on. Okay, good, we do get cobble. Your Highness, I scored a shipment of steel swords and armor. Would you like to take a look? Okay, make sure to get steel armor for both Gloria and Bamboo Blade. Since Gloria's... Uh, cleansing Light scales to defense. She needs to maximize her defense as much as possible so she can just take out enemies with low MP. It's gonna be tough. These guys are watching me. I think that guy's just gonna jump me if I try to walk past him. But I have to fight if I want to get EXP. Can I fight you? Uh, dude? Yeah, there you are. He he'll jump you if he sees you, huh? Cure us, okay. That's actually a, 
outdated compared to my current armor, which is very unfortunate. But maybe I can sell it. Healing herb. Wooden sword. Why am, are they giving me such outdated gear? Morale herb. Maybe it's to show that the bandits are really poor. But even then, why are bandits stronger than uh, some of the enemy soldiers we fought before? Silver. Dude, I'm down here. Get over here. A mandatory fight. The Royal Army's coming. Take that. They have long range. How do we win against this? They have cover, too. No way! They... Oh, magic attacks! Because bands are providing cover, Mike, you can't attack those archers directly. And we're at the mercy of their arrows. Perform my tactic belief. What? It will increase our defense and reduce damage. That would have been help if helpful earlier. Oh, man. It's only on... Is it AoE? Yes, it is. Okay. Charge. I, moth powder only works on one target. Uh, uh, works on frontliners, huh? This also boosts the power of her cleansing light, huh? So I might be able to take out some archers unexpectedly. One more cleansing light. Armor break. White moth powder. There. Got some items to make up for the damage I took. We surrender! Onward, the must be in the innermost area. More of them. Damn. Morale herb. Healing pellet. Wow, that was well hidden. Okay, good. Cobble shows up at the last second. Your Highness, I score a shipment of steel swords and armor. Yeah, you already told me that. Okay, what is the bandit's gimmick, though? This guy looks really strong, he's so many people! I'll shoot you all dead! Hold it! Duchess Mirror Lake, ain't ya? What's the big idea of bringing Her uh, Highness way out to these here parts? Her Highness wishes to have a peace talk. She what now? Mr. Ironax, not more than a few days prior, my brother Dark Knight conspired with the Dark Ones to commit patricide. You served the throne, and now intends to seize control of the human world. Uh-huh. We face the threat of the Dark Ones. Now is not a time to waste our time on internal strife. I wish to gain your support to pacify my brother's rebellion, fight against the Dark Ones, and make peace. Your Highness, I ain't educated enough to understand all the fancy talk. Can you get to the point? You insolent boar! Bamboo Blade, don't... No, Bamboo Blade, what are you doing? Dang it. This is proof that only the normal ending was the true one, huh? Is it is basic courtesy to speak in accordance with the customs of our side? Mr. Ironax used honorifics for us, did he not? Forgive my lack of manners, your highness. Hmm, she ain't all high and mighty like I thought. Please excuse me. All, allow me to phrase it another way. Gloria took out uh, took a breath. My jerk had murdered her, our old man, see? And now he's teaming up with some dark ones to take over the world. I need your help to take him down. Please. Har har har. Ain't afraid to cut the posh, uh, the posh talking you need to, eh? Good, good. I like that. Then will you? 
But you're missing a point. Huh? Your Highness, so very yours off your old man, you want to get back at him. That's your own business. Plus, the dark ones in this piece you speak of have nothing to do with us commoners. Beyond food and clothing, we don't give a flying damn. We have no interest in being puns for your no you nobles. But I... Stop, I gave you your chance. Besides, you, uh, you all went and took care of my men. After the adventure, more I don't deserve to be boss. Is it because I killed at least a few of them? I thought you said it wouldn't affect the story! Okay, so that's a lot of units. I need to s use defense bu uh, boosting here. Damn it, I bet the boss in the back will just buff everyone's power further, huh? Holy shit, these guys are tanky. Yeah. I have to white moth powder. With enough defense, hopefully this means I can deal with the wear of the storm. Ow. The archers seem to be stronger than before? What? Okay, I need a cleansing light. Who is the... B Holy moly, Iron Axe is going to be a tough one to crack here. Hmm... My defense buff wore off, Tam. Cleansing light you. Since you still have that, let's go ahead and use a healing pellet. Can I use... Uh, does White Moth Powder work on Iron Axe? He has not used a single MP move yet. Quintubal next turn, dude. Cleansing light, though. Armor break. MP damage. Ferdy. Dude, he's going all in, huh? Yes. Erg. I lost. Finish me off however you want. But have mercy on the rest of them. 
Boss. We live and die together. That's what you said. <laughs> Shut, you adults. You all have families to feed. Well, that was embarrassing. However, you uh, uh, way I want you say. I may your mercy and I my word. Then you will come with me till you die on the battlefield. What? You said you're at my mercy, so how and where you die is up to me. Swear that you'll do that and I won't touch your people. If they come along, I'll provide remuneration, money that is, to feed their families. It's food and clothing they want, I'll give it to them, and their families. Let's hope you can keep your promise. What do you think? I'm at your word, aren't you? Well said, Princess, you got me. Dark Knight and the Dark Ones are cruel. If they take over the world, you will all suffer. This concerns more than Her Highness's family. Besides, it's far better to be a soldier than an outlaw. Think of your children. They wouldn't want their parents to be bandits. We ain't educated, and nothing grows here. Once the war's done, we'll just go back to our old ways. But I've got it all figured out. You know that giant rock blocking the past? We're gonna blow it up and open a trade route to the Scarlet Empire. It'll bring opportunities to peddlers, and you all can be their escorts. T details need arranging, but it's not a bad plan. Why have we... Uh, yeah, we, we really should have gotten that rock taken care of way earlier, I feel like. If you're in need of subsidies, I'll make sure the royal family sees to it. It's as simple as that. Are you in or out? <laughs> har har. I thought you must be spoiled, but you really are thinking of us, eh? Princess Gloria, your highness, I, Iron Axe, will come with you to fight the Dark Ones and your jerkhead brother till I die in the battlefield. By golly, we're in, right, y'all? Come us in. So is he actually going to be, like, the fourth playable character with his own skill set and such? No, he doesn't have a face portrait. He, I don't think that's going to happen, sadly. Glory and her men defeated Iron Axe and succeeded in converting the bands to their cause. So, the rock gun. Gloria then asked Cobble to send a letter by Pigeon, inviting Chrysler Barrel to meet her at the gateway to, on Mount High Fort. With the help of Cobble and her little sister Pebble, the date was finally set. A few days later, outside the fort on Mount High Fort, But what if, what if the, uh, uh, what if the uh, usurper of the Scarlet Empire is on the other side? I'm a little nervous. Boss Ironox, thank you for leading the way. Maybe I'll say something like, "Oh, if you want to get a good ending to this game, you'll have to wait until you ca until they release Scar uh, uh, Bloody Emperor, play that game to a certain point, and then have both save files ready for the big meeting." That'd be pretty funny, huh? No, this is nothing. I know the High Fort will get back in my hand. Now, I don't think they'd make us wait several months for the uh, the, the true ending of this game. Hopefully, Chrysler Barrel will have an easier journey than... Uh, 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 compared to uh, Gloria. Looks like she at least survived her first boss, but I don't know how hard Bloody Emperor actually is. For all I know, it could be e even... T uh, the bells could be even tighter. Princess Chrysler Barrel, this way, please. Pebble has brought them. Wait, how come you get four party members? And I don't. I recognize them. They're of the Scarlet Empire Army. Oh, there's Chrysler Barrel. The one who wears the Princess Crown must be there. It's the Imperial Throne. It's been a long time. Wait, what? Oh no, they speak a different language? Yes, it has been a while since I last saw you. You went out of your way to learn Eastern words of greeting. Yes, but I regret to say this is the only phrase I know. Now let's communicate in the common tongue. Thank you for your willingness to communicate in the native languages of us Westerners. Wait, does every country use their own language? And also, I remember in, in, dice, in the dice game, the Dark Ones had their own language, but we didn't understand it, and that caused some issues. 
Floria, this is my brother Ruby, the Prince of the Scarlet Empire. Your Imperial Highness, this is my pen pal Gloria, the Princess of the Silver Kingdom. It's a privilege to meet you, Princess Gloria. It's a privilege to meet you too, Prince Ruby. Your Imperial Highness, please calm yourself and act more composed. Right, of course. Crystal Barrel is as strict as ever. This is for you, Princess Crystal Barrel, a Silk Clan specialty, the Heavenly Robe. And this set of silverware I offer to Prince Ruby, as it can be used to detect if food is poisoned. Um, do you say poisoned? You have my gratitude, a truly practical gift every Imperial Error needs. It is? And thank you for such a beautiful dress. I, I also prepared a dress for you. I hope it's to your liking. Please have good defensive stats, because that's what my MP damage relies on. This is made from Salamander Lever. It can be used to protect you from fire. That sounds oddly specific. And that's probably going to be a thing, yeah. How splendid. It's a trophy that my guard Sir Mormorian wore when he defeated the Dark One. Defeated the Dark One? So you have also fought the Dark One, Sir Mormorian. This is a, that is in the past and not worth mentioning. And after that, Gloria received from Chrysler Barrel a variety of magical scrolls such as those for reducing fireballs or frost in exchange for Mirror Lake's moth powders. I wonder if that if, uh, this will affect both sides' skill sets. They didn't inspect the giant rock block in the past. Let me guess, the rock is actually sentient and alive and is a super boss. We're gonna have to beat a giant rock to death with her fists. Whoa. What? Why is that rock rendered so differently from everything else? What? How are we supposed to destroy it? Are we just gonna use our powders? Hopefully it doesn't awaken some kind of sleeping giant. Blowing up this giant rock will restore the ability to travel between the two countries. We can use drilling and blasting. First we drill holes in the surface of the giant rock, then we can put black moth power in and detonate it. That way we can slowly break down the boulder from our side. We can speed up the process with the help of the Empire. Oh, I see how it is. By Durya, what do you think? We can use what we call fire quenching. We cast fireball scrolls and cross scrolls on a giant rock and turn cracking its surface using thermal expansion. Then we can break it apart using a rain of fire scrolls. Surely they can't hurt to try combining the technologies of both countries. Cobble. Transportation between the two countries will finally be restored. We sisters have dreamed this for so long. Excuse me, I have permission to speak. What would you like to say, Pebble? I managed to stock some alchemist fire from the Dark Ones. It's kind of ex explosive and might come in handy. I hope you aren't going to sell us out to the Dark Ones. Don't yeah, don't sell us out to the Dark Ones until I take control of the Dark Ones in terms of gameplay. The Dark Ones never sell alchemist fire to humans. How do you get it? <laughs> I have my ways. Let's actually attempt this on a portion of a giant rock and see if it's a feasible proposal. It can't be that easy. There's no way Dark Knight's just gonna let us do this, right? He's probably gonna be staging his own attack on Silkland at any moment. I'm kind of nervous. I feel like we're just... I feel like we're fighting too many fronts at once. I feel like he's just gonna ambush us right now. This rock is so strong. Uh, did, I don't think it worked, did it? Is that only the second part, first part of the plan? Okay, it's the first part. They can still do stuff, I think. If it seems feasible, we will do it. They managed to scrape off quite a, huge, uh, quite a, bit, a bit of it, I guess. As long as the royal families and the people of our two countries unite as one, the giant rock cannot stand in our way. Giant rock final boss. 
But that kind of project seems kind of difficult at the moment. Princess Gloria, you are bound to face many more obstacles in the future, and you may face frustration and even self-doubt. You're willing to e and eager to believe in others. That is far from easy. But above all, remember to believe in yourself. Believe that you are on the right path. Princess Chrysler Barrel. Once justice prevails and we win peace for our countries, let's meet here once more to celebrate. Heh, <laughs> that is a promise. But I have a feeling once we resolve these two incidents, Spider Web will make her own attack. While everyone's still trying to recover. Everything is ready. It's time to prepare our army for Riceland. My fellow people of Riceland, we're coming to your rescue. But they they might use the civilians as hostages, or bra use them as human shields because they're brainwashed. I'm nervous. Chapter 3, Night of Darkness. Yeah, that sounds pretty ominous. Now she has convinced Iron Axe and met with Trestle Barrel, Gloria is no longer threatened and can focus on her battle against Dark Knight. Leaving some scholars and bands to work on drilling and blessing a giant rock, she led her people back to Silkland be to begin preparing her army. A week later, Gloria marched to Riceland. Upon hearing this, Dark Knight sent Spider Venom to intercept them. Oh no. Spider, the real Spider Venom is going to be a tough one. In the tent outside the city of Riceland. Lady Sorceress. Ah. I merely take off my veil and if I face betrayed the look of encountering a monster. No, not at all. What news does spell bring? Gloria's army is approaching, nothing more. There be of no place for me in the human world. My princess, the reason we can't come and save you is to overthrow your mother and put you on the throne to save our realm. You care for me not, I am but upon your conspiracy because I am the princess. Well, well, this girl isn't easy to manipulate. Then foul art of no use to me now. Be gone. What shall I do now that I am rid of my destiny? Find what fine heart desireth and make it fine own. Tis how a dark elf should be. My aunt banished me and slew my mother to usurp the throne. And uh, as the new Dark Lord, her plan had be up to lead our people to invade the South, break the seal on the Dark Mother, and seize the power to conquer the world. Meanwhile, I wander aimlessly south. Only Lord Dark Knight have ever acknowledged me. What? I thought you were the one manipulating Dark Knight. Sorry, Venom, your sorcery is quite formidable. It would be a pity if you died here for nothing. But I'm a Dark One, the Princess of the Dark Realm. I care not where you are Dark One or Princess. All I know is I need you, for who you are. I guess I got things mixed up. No one have ever said such words to me. You're at my mercy. How and where you die is up to me. Send out the self-exploding zombies to obliterate Gloria's army. Yes, ma'am. I shall do whatever it takes to protect this place where I finally belong. Tis how a Dark Elf should be. Oh, he's gonna backstab you, isn't he? That Dark Knight cannot be trusted. I don't suppose there's an outcome where we can save Spider Venom. Oh no, we're gonna explode! Run! It's red! That means they're gonna explode. Be careful, that, those zombies explode! How are we supposed to beat them in time, then? We can't even MP drain them. So close. Draw your bows, aim at the zombies. Let them fly. Yeah, what's the ta strat for this one? This seems really tough. If they can just explode before I can do anything to them. It takes too much step for me to, uh, to defeat them normally because of their high defenses. 
we don't have any arrow type users. Your Highness, I'll take care of the flanks. Promise you won't die. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of dudes. Princess Gloria, we made it last. Sorceress, so that's your true face. I heard tales of what the Dark Ones look like, but to see one the flesh is unnerving. Silence, it's unwise to judge by appearances. Yes, sir. Her revealing her appearance is surely a show of her determination. It's, it's not a double this time. The fastest path to a general is to defeat his best fighter first. March on the spy, uh, to, onto Spire Venom. Got my just girl empire equipment for my sister. Feel free to take a look, your highness. Buy the rare gear. Oh man. Still same medicine. I'll deal with that. Think about that later. Sword armor. Okay. Seriously. I don't... The zombies probably deal power type damage. How do I deal with that? There's quite a horde of them. How do we deal with their self-destruct explosions? Your grace, what do you suggest? We must try to mitigate damage from the zombie self-destruction any uh, self-explosion any way we can. Understood. That's so vague. Their power is off the charts. Fuck. Does p defense work on against power? Because if it doesn't, I'm kind of fucked. How many turns does it take for them to charge up? Maybe they have to take a turn to charge first. It didn't deal much damage. Zombies are about to explode! Your Highness, please command me to perform a tactic to intimidate. It decreases enemy power to reduce damage they deal on us. Okay, good. Your Highness, let me use Frost Scrolls. Frost Scrolls from Princess Chrysal Barrel. Yes, it helps fire damage. Okay. Yeah, we, that would have been... Okay. Okay. Uh. Raise morale. Intimidate. Frost scroll. Preemptive. Fourteen because I have multiple types of damage reduction, huh? But still, okay, we do have a we do have a way to win, and they will not survive their own self destruct gimmicks. And charge is still definitely useful just for preventing them from targeting anyone else. Leveled up. Problem is they might be mixed of our units, and that's going to be a problem because we have to deal with multiple types of tactics. Mirror zombies will never stop us, as we are united as one. Yeah, now we're fighting a regular zombie too, a non-exploding one. Or not, not yet. Okay. But there's only two of you this time, so it shouldn't be too hard. As long as you use the right tactics, I can win. They have cover, but I was never going to be able- I, I don't have the capability to defeat the back rows anyways. Belief. Charge as usual to get aggroed. I do need Black Moth power to actually defeat the zombie, though. The front row one, at least. Raise morale for the defensive buff. Intimidate to lower that. And Frost Scroll. I'm glad so a lot of these moves have preemptive on them because some of my characters are pretty slow. Okay, got some items. Nice, nice. Okay, we have a path forward. What's inside? What? 
Wait, where are we facing inside then? Are they going to meet us inside or something? What? They're on top of the roof there. Oh no, we just walked up there, I guess. Still, it's not going to be easy if she has all these types of soldiers. Spare Venom. Tis our first meeting if we do not count my double, princess. Why do you want my brother hand subverting her kingdom? Are, are the Dark Ones so desperate to invade the human world? I fear Fowler misinformed. Huh? The reason I confront Fee have no connection to my being a Dark One. The feud between the Dark Ones and the humans. The grudge between my brother and Fee. That be of none of my concern. What? Then she's not here by command of the Dark Lord. Shoot, I thought Spiderweb was behind this. I cho choose to aid L Lord Dark Knight for the recognition he offers me that I am Spider Venom. Lord Dark Knight's em enemies are my enemies. Tis what I, Spider Venom, decide of my own will. I don't know. I think this guy's just using you. Recognition, you turned our kingdom upside down just because you were seeking some kind of validation? Your Highness, there's no need to waste your breath on her. Spider Venom, what happened between you and the other Dark Ones that my brother's recognition is so important to you. At this point, what good would that knowledge do? That's true. You're an enemy of the Silver Kingdom. You are my, no, our enemy. Duchess Mirror Lake, Bamboo Blade. Here we go. As long as this bond be exists between us, the zombie army is nothing to be afraid of. Yes, my lady. Your wish is my command, princess. We are both princesses. How do our destinies differ so? The bond she speak of. I too have a bond. My bond with Lord Dark Knight. I swear to protect. Is there a real bond, though? Ugh. That's a lot of dudes. And we have to deal with... Oh my god, this is a lot. Problem is, Spire... My MP... Anti-MP tactics are not gonna be good here, are they? And the problem is, I fear that she might actually bring back the back row, which could be very bad for me. Hmm. Yeah, she's gonna revive the back row every time. No, she's gonna bring back more, but it can't all explode at the same time, but still, this is really bad. Like, holy shit. Intimidation. Frost scroll. That's gonna be annoying. One to deal with. We might not even have an opening to get rid of some of these guys. Like, I am gonna be ha have my hands full just dealing with my other defensive measures. I have to recast uh, uh, my buff here. Let's see. They all have power down, so I should be fine in that regard. But I need to recast charge. Hmm. Now make sure Bamboo Blade stays healthy. Okay. We have an opportunity to attack right now. Hmm. We already have a defense buff, so I need to think of something else to do. Cleansing light's no good here. Spare Venom is a frickin' tank, okay. They need to charge up, so let's use armor break. Hmm. 
is, can Spider Man be. Uh, 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 is Spider Man vulnerable to fire? Not really. Oh my goodness, no, not good. Okay, we need a freaking heal. It's not very good. Charge. Problem is our physical. T <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be tough dealing any damage to this one. Healing pellet. I need to charge into you. You'll run out of MP sooner or later, huh? Use that. Let's see, what else do I need? Hmm. Leaf. Charge. Hmm. Raise morale. Intimidate. Frost scroll. Man, she's almost dead. Charge. Hmm. There, that takes care of the Necromancer. Now we just need to weather one more attack. A lot of money and items, nice.
Ugh. Imititia Morto. What does that do? Lord Dark Knight, did I put up enough of a fight? Did she just say something? What was that spell? What did she do? Yeah, you beat the enemy boss, eh? Don't tell me she's gonna bring herself back as a zombie. We cannot let her guard down. Dark Knight is still in the city. Let me deal with the rest of things here, your highness. Just keep going. It's good to know you got my back. Okay, but seriously, what were her last words? That's ominous. Her relationship with Dark Knight seemed more complicated than I thought. Unfortunately, I lost the chance to ever have a proper conversation with her. Don't tell me there's a secret... There's no way there's a secret dialogue for MPing her, right? Because the, the cutscene, they still end up shanking her. Okay, now we have to face human enemies, which means back to MP damage. That's a lot. These patty fields, these farmhouses, they're all exactly the same as when I left. But Dark Knight's army wasn't here back then. And we sure took a lot of damage in that last fight. If we go, if we go for these paddy fields, we can attack Dark Knight directly. Your Highness, what should we do? We must go around the fields. The wet soft ground the paddy fields is ill-suited for marching. If we come under attack there, there will be many casualties. Besides, the agriculture is the livelihood of the right If we thoughtlessly intrude on their fields just to fight against my brother, we will lose our trust. Not an optimal decision during a war, but it's crucial for a reconstruction that comes after. What Your Highness says is quite true. Re really, my orders. There is to be no trespassing on any paddy fields or farmhouse. Oh, bypass the farmland, march of Dark Knight. G glad they gave us me a, a free heal right there. I do a lot of business in Riceland. The people here are very good to me. Please let me do my part to help liberate Riceland. Healing pellet, moral pellet. Okay, we got some freebies. But I don't think we get any. Uh, there's no new equipment for us, is there? Yeah, I don't see anything new. Are these the elite soldiers? That's not good. We, the elite warriors of Dark Knight's army pay homage to your highness, and now your head shall be ours. Ugh. Watch out, they're heading for her highness. Let me perform the tactic charge to protect her highness. Send for natural martial arts to, uh, training to good use. When the enemy strikes, strike back just as hard to counter their attack. That would have helped when we fought these guys the first time around. Now, performing counter attack, if Bamboo Blade units takes a physical attack from an enemy, they will automatically attack back. Okay. However, we should still probably use Belief. I already used up Charge, huh? So I need to use Counter Attack instead. Take a physical attack, Earth, and shot type attack. You deal physical damage to the attacker. Hmm. Probably actually. <laughs> what does Should Mirror Lake do in this case? Just attack one of them? I don't know. Or maybe Black Mo Moth Power will be enough. Because all these arm powders are not going to do a whole lot of help here. Dude! He just annihilated them! This is just like Sword of Paladin, when you can counterattack multi hits and just deal a ton of damage that way. Quite impressive, we can see the feet. Holy moly, there's a lot of you. Okay, the barrier unit's gonna be a prom. Okay, mandatory mob, unlike some of the others. Yeah, the barrier unit is my priority so that they don't get buffed up and overcome my defenses anyway. Hmm. 
Cleansing Light 1 of you to reduce the load on Bamboo Blade. Problem is, how do we overcome uh, the brainwashing ability easily? I feel like it's gonna deal MP damage. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that in the future. Archer types steel blade, steel armor. Problem is, counterattacks don't work on archers. So, belief. Hmm, charge on the warrior. It always gives us enough defense to weather the storm. Cleansing Light. Hmm. Okay, that took care of that one. Uh-oh. Bears and Archers, that is extremely bad. That means they will unavoidably get buffed up. Hmm. Okay, but I can still win. It just won't be as easy, I guess. Leveled up from that. Short sword. Wait, what? Gauntlet? These must be offhand weapons for everyone else, huh? Aha, there are some items here. Morale herb, healing herb, healing pellet. Okay, good thing I saw those. Because now I gotta fight a really big mob. A bearer! Oh no. Archer unit, elite warrior, bearer unit. Okay, I know my first target. First I use belief to buff myself up. Next, charge the bearer so that I cannot buff anyone. Hmm. Okay. White moth powder, one of the archers to help me with DPS and stuff. Okay, now cleansing light on the archer, you just counterattack, use healing moth power to boost his defense a little bit. Alright, got a bunch of items for that, nice. We have high stats, but I'm sure the enemy must be prepared for someone who actually took out the entire army. Oh, there he is. 
Yeah, the problem is he has all of our the civilians hostage too. Gloria's army has gone past Spider Venom's army and has now entered a city. Their progress is slow, however, as they have apparently chosen to bypass the paddy fields. Oh, my self hearted sister, ever losing sight of the larger picture? Did they investigate the farmhouse along the way? No, sire. As expected, she cannot bear intruding on the people. Don't tell me you put a bunch of. Uh, 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 hit a bunch of soldiers in the farmhouse to ambush us. Duke of Reisland, help us defeat Gloria. I surrendered only because you promised not to massacre the inhabitants. Now I nor my people have any intention of serving your despicable ambitions. You prefer I use force than be uh, magnanimous, I see. Marionette shrinks. Ah, ah! Dark, uh, King Dark Knight, how can we be of service? We have prepared firewood and oil silk cloth. We're already placed in the farmhouses. On our command, you will ignite them. As your majesty wishes. That soldier seemed a little hesitant. The heck? Will your majesty truly go through with this? We have made our decision. This, their sacrifice will not be wasted. Damn it, what are we going to do? How are we going to combat this? Do you have any suggestions? I do have a lot of business in Riceland, okay? Do you have anything new? No, you do not. Um, as prepared as possible. How do we defeat our own people? Is this the final boss for real? Or is he gonna transform? Little sister. Have you come to offer up the legendary sword unifier? Do you care, crave the regalia that badly? You're powerful enough and would have inherited the throne sooner or later. Why would you bar conspiring with Spider Venom to murder her father and seize the throne? Answer me, why? Why did her father have to die? Hmm. What would you say if I answered that I was to defend against the Dark Ones? The, uh, the conniving traitor who works with a Dark One talks of defending against them. Spider Venom was the daughter of the previous Dark Lord and the Princess of the Dark Ones. Her aunt banished her and killed the Dark Lord to take her place, plotting to conquer the world. I'm merely making use of Spider Venom's talents to prepare for the fight against her aunt. You adopted the Dark One as your right hand, but turned your back on your father. As the Prince of the Silver Kingdom, your duty was to aid His Majesty in resisting the enemy. No matter how lofty reasoning you might use, your greed for a friend got the better of you. There is nothing more to it. Perhaps, but what of it? So he finally admits it. A stubborn yet indecisive man like him did not have what it takes to protect the Silver Kingdom. I had to take his place. I see nothing wrong with that. What did you say? People of Silver Kingdom, they need you. How dare you? How dare you insult the humane king who always puts his people first? You have no right to claim any interest in protecting your homeland. Where are we safe, fool? I will punish you on behalf of our fire with the unifier, which embodies the will of the man with silver hair. Holy moly, that's so many! Elite warrior, regular warrior. Cover. Oh my goodness, we're fucked. We're actually toast. How are we supposed to defend against that much, uh, much shit at once? Belief. Even belief will not offset their massive attack boost. Ugh. Oh, charge. Dude. I need to use White Moth Powder to eliminate one warrior, damn it. It's gonna be tough. That's healing so much damage, ugh. Dude, he just keeps spamming War Cry. We'll give you permission to stop. Damn it. Death March is one of Dark Knight's tactics to restore MP by reducing hit points. So, in other words, I can't just rely on MP damage. I actually have to kill this dude. Oh my goodness. However, can't I do MP. Can I. Use cleansing light on him. 
No, I don't have enough leeway for that, damn it. But taking out an archer now would prevent them from attacking this turn, wouldn't it? Since he has to... Uh, yeah. Counterattack. Hmm. Healing Moth Powder. Since you're gonna eat a ton of shit this turn. Death March. It's not good. I need to recast belief or I'm gonna die. Charge on the warrior. Honestly, I'm gonna have to start uh I have to start doing stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? He's draining my MP! Okay. That one does not even have enough to MP to do anything. Cleansing Light. Attack. I'm gonna use a Morale Pellet on you. You killed your own unit, of course. Okay. Problem is, Bamboo Blade has to be able to keep up his MP. Charge. Or I'll pellet. Armor break. I wonder if he can be affected. I don't know if he can. Thirty-seven. Dude, we actually took out all his MP. He's actually fucked. Glory's army was victorious. Oh, light Spear, grant me power. Cleansing Light. Your Majesty, it's about time. I, we see. Retreat. Don't you run away! Right Sanders, hold him off! Protect His Majesty! Protect His Majesty! He casts a spell on the people! You would use an insensibility as a shield, 
Perhaps you should take a look around. I'm going to, to uh, torch the entire place just to prevent us from using the resources. What's happening? Why is Rice in the Sea of Flames? Do you order this, Dark Knight? You failed to investigate the farmhouses along the way, so you didn't find the flammable materials found inside. The people on standby set them on fire. Not intruding on the farmlands is need good for reconstruction after war. But that's only if you win the war. You would burn the granary for kingdom. My land, my hometown. No reason to leave land intact for my enemies to claim. I don't mean just you, but the Dark Ones as well. You believe a Scorched Earth policy would hurt the Dark Ones? If we allow Dark Knight to get away now, or if he ever leads the fight against the Dark Ones in the future, Reisland may be the first city to burn, but it won't be the last. You, Dark Knight. Now will you pursue me or save the people? Perhaps this will should ask, given you always put the people first. Make your choice, Princess. Dark Knight's getting away. What should I do? Please go after Dark Knight, Your Highness. What, but this place? It's your hometown. Yes, it is. Of course it is. But if we let Dark Knight go now, more people places will end up the same way. I cannot let that happen as a warrior. Sir Bamboo Blade. He's always uh, uh, putting the needs of the many above his own, huh? I say we should prioritize saving lives. Our army is what it is today because of your highness's desire to put the people first. If we do not stick to that principle, we will lose the support from the people. Then even if we defeat Dark Knight, we will never be able to unite the people against the Dark Ones. Oh, tough choice. The reason Duchess Mirror Lake joined Princess Gloria in the first place was because of Princess Gloria's promise to protect the people. With all due respect, your grace has also seen that Dark Knight has no regard for human life. Letting him go will surely endanger more lives. And we fail our people just as much. Ugh, that's a tough choice. Stop. Duchess Mirror Lake, please lead your scholars in distinguishing the fires with frost scrolls. Memorably, follow me with your warriors to get past the Ricelanders and pursue Dark Knight. What? We don't get to use... Uh, we Only two of us? <laughs> Lives of Ricelanders are just as valuable as the other. One life should never be weighed against the other. Dividing your forces, is that wise? If you pursue two, two hairs, you'll catch neither. You risk far too much. As princess, I take the risk and responsibility for this decision. Dang it, how are we going to win with only two people, though? As your highness wishes. Prepare your frost scrolls. About uh, face and march. Save the people trapped in the fire. Promise, without a spurred party member, he'll easily overwhelm me with his marionette strings. They are being manipulated by Dark Knight and may resist. What should we do? Restrain them and take them to safety. Use MP damage. Yes, my lady. Man, join me in pursuit of the Dark Knight. Fellow Highness. You're kidding me. This is gonna be this is gonna be tough. Just when I thought I was getting strong. Suddenly I'm not so strong. You you better have something good for me. How do I Dark Knight control innocent people and use them as shields? Your Highness, please take care not to hurt them. Of course. So how are we going to deal with you guys? Protect His Majesty, protect His Majesty. Don't attack them, I'll use my Cleansing Light. Okay, is there a defensive a guard, a guard command or anything? I'll deal with Dark Knight Sparrows and leave the Cleansing of the people to Your Highness. Cleanse you. Charge Bearer. Ah, two damage. Cleansing light again, and you just use armor break. <sighs> Glorious army victorious. Okay. Go and take refuge. Is this gonna be like this entire path? What if I actually kill one with a physical attack? Do I just automatically lose? I don't know. Cover. In other words, cleansing light on Ricelander. Guess armor break. Cleansing light. Charge. Okay. Taking you all out. 
Go take refuge. Take refuge. Okay. What the? A cutscene? Your Highness, we'll catch up with them shortly. This feels too easy. So easy, it doesn't seem right. A trap? Oh no, what do we do? One hour ago outside the city of Riceland. Don't tell me she's gonna re raise all the deads again. Spider Venom's still alive. Boss, why are you staring at the dark one? I got a closer look, and she ain't that different from us. Just different hair and skin color is all. Impossible, I knew she wasn't briefing. I know she wasn't briefing. A fake death spell is all it took. And now... Revivigy Moral June. Oh no. How are we supposed to beat them all? The bands are fucked. Going from her highness to their men. On it, boss. Damn it. So we have to fight both at the same time after all? Now run up all our guys. Gotcha. We've got to block the zombies here or her highness will get sandwiched. Damn it. We should have more thoroughly destroyed them. Back to the present inside the city of Riceland. I knew she was up to something. Halt. About face, man. Fight back against Gloria's army. Yeah. Your Highness, Dark Knight's army has turned back toward us. They merely pretend to be on the run. Sir, Iron Axe's army has been attacked by zombies. Are we trapped by the enemy on both sides? How could it be? Spider Venom is dead. It must be a trap set by Dark Knight. We did indeed set the trap, but you were once fool enough to fall into it. Protect Your Highness. Marinette Strings. Are you kidding me? Why is he getting so strong in the cutscene? Ah! The isolated girl. Are you kidding me? We're f Why are we losing a cutscene? Princess Gloria! Isolate Gloria! Isolate Gloria! Damn you! Dark Knight! If you had the fortitude to abandon the Rice Landers and come after me with your entire army, you might have taken my head. What shame you're too indecisive to choose the obvious best strategy, just like our full father. I will never abandon my people. That's my path of kingship. Compare my for my father and the man of silver hair. Heh, ha ha. What's so funny? Inherit from the man of silver hair, eh? You're one of his errors and yet you know nothing of him. This is why you don't deserve a unifier. Ah! No, we, without the unifier, we can't deal MP damage. Oh, unifier, come to us at last. That, that embodies the legacy of the man of silver hair, an iconic token of the peacemaker. A treasure like you could never use it. Yes, it's indeed a token of the peacemaker. Or the war maker, rather. This place. Is this the world inside of your mind? This sword being a token of the Peacemaker is exactly why we can use it. It can't be. I'm also an heir of the Peacemaker, chosen by the Light Spirit. The Light Spirit was double dealing? No, that's impossible. Why would the Light Spirit ever acknowledge someone like you? History speaks for itself. Oh, Fire, in the name of the Light Spirit, reveal to us the history recorded within you. How did you even learn this information? The human sacrifices. Free peacemakers. Why did they have? Why have? Why have they gathered so many people? The man with the silver hair did succeed in uniting the people, but that alone was no match against the dark martyr and the dark ones. So he made a decision. Mommy, what are you trying going to do? I'll, I'll not waste your sacrifice. What does that? He mean by that? Damn, at least the Cerulean King had the. Uh, 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 at least the Cerulean King was polite enough to ask for consent first. We speak for a life spirit. We have found grace in their eyes, as the makers of peace. May she grant us power. 
Alvoku Gigaton. Giganton. As soon as the words left the three pacemakers' mouths, the summoning circle began to rumble beneath their people's feet. Around the circle, dust flew, plants over, and flying birds fell dead from the sky. One by one, the people in the summoning circle were dismantled by an unknown force. The dust, plants, and flesh flew, swirling in the air and reorganized themselves into a giant figure. They returned to the giant, for the giant they were. Man of Silver Hair, is this a giant of which the world was made? Not quite, we had to keep it to a manageable size. I see. So the more people are sacrificed, the bigger and more powerful the giant is. Otherwise the world would have returned to the beginning of the cre creation. Ha 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 ha, now is our power to wield as we see fit. No, they sacrificed their own people, innocent lives, to fight against the Dark Mother. This can't be right. Their choice to sacrifice their people and summon the giant to defeat the Dark Mother is how they brought a millennium of peace to humanity. They did what was necessary to make peace. No, it can't be true. Some say you are the man with the silver, with silver hair incarnate because of your hair color. Who is to know whether this rumor is true or not? But one thing is sure, you clearly not, did not inherit the will of the man with silver hair. How many people is he going to sacrifice to summon the giant? After all, our ancestor dedicated himself to making peace, even if it meant that he had to do the unthinkable, and bear the sin of sacrificing innocence for his cause. That's what made him the man of silver hair. That made him the peacemaker. Now Glory realized how much Dark Knight and the man of silver hair resemble each other, all except for their hair color. Actual recolor. Perhaps it was an illusion, but in that moment their figures seemed to merge. The reincarnation of the man of silver hair. That's the twist of this game, huh? Then does that mean that the bloody emperor, uh, emperor who usurped uh, 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 the, the Scarlet Kingdom uh, uh, Empire is actually the true reincarnation as well? Your Highness, please come to your senses. Huh? We shall do away with you, imposter. Wait, one on one? Pe Dark uh, Peacemaker Dark Knight unit emerged. Gloria's lost the unifier can no longer cleansing light. Oh, come on. I'm gonna lose this one, aren't I? Dude, 40 damage! Wow. Yeah, we're fucked. This guy has insanely high stats. Defeated. How do I win this one? It seems impossible. Was I mistaken? Was I merely adamant about putting the people first to mask my indecision? Huh. Princess Gloria. Cursed Fool. Bamboo Blade. Such blind loyalty, Bamboo Blade. It must pain you to have a fellow master like her. Please go after Dark Knight, Your Highness. If you have the force to abandon the Rice Landers and come after me with your entire army, you might have taken my head. Are we trapped by the enemy on both sides? My indecision has put everyone in danger. I don't know what to believe in anymore. What words can I give her? Just prior to this, I suggested we pursue Dark Knight over saving the people. How am I any different from Dark Knight? Pull yourself together. This is a battlefield. If your highness doesn't know what to believe in, then what can we possibly put our faith in? Our army is what it is today because of your highness's desire to put the people first. If you do not stick to that principle, we will lose the support from the people. Precisely because I have put everyone in danger, I cannot leave them behind. This is not a time to be at a loss. Forget what the men with silver hair did. Forget the truth about our history. The Rice Lenders and my soldiers are still waiting for me. I must go back to lead them. We're back to reality. Wheeze wheeze. So she still has the power of the life spirit within her. Isolate Gloria, isolate Gloria. 
The power granted me by Light Spirit is at its last. I must do something. Oh, it's Light Spirit. Hear my prayer. So no more MP gimmicks, huh? What happened to us? Thank goodness. She broke the spell we cast. Impossible. Say, slay Gloria. Yeah. Protect her highness. Get away. Your Majesty, you must retreat. We're just a step away from taking Gloria's head. Light Spirit, is this another test? Light Spirit is trying to see whose way is better. No matter, the unifier is ours. We shall make haste to the Grand Silver Temple and prepare for the ritual. He's gonna summon the giant. Ritual? What ritual? Retreat. Damn it, the giant. He must have brainwashed a ton of civilians to sacrifice. Make the heavens see we have survived. How are we faring, Princess Gloria? I'm alright, thank you. Your Highness, let's run with Duchess Mary Lake first. Of course. Your Majesty, the situation is settled. Please re release your control over the Rice Lander so that no unnecessary, ne unnecessary blood will be shed. Don't not worry, the Mary Night Shrinks will be lifted shortly. Sandrus, get up here. Huh? What's this? Why are we here? Your Grace, the dark spell Dark Knight ca cast has somehow been lit broken. Evacuate them now. Yes, my lady. Now it's easier to put out the fires. Ready the Frost Scrolls. Launch! Thank goodness it's over at last. Still, they won't be able to grow any rice for ever. Almost all the farmhouses have burned down. How did this happen? That's just merely like it's her highness and her men. Your highness, the people under Dark Knight's control hinder us from extinguish extinguishing the flames. As such, the flames cause much more damage than expected. Where are the people? Are they all right at least? Fortunately, Dark Knight's spell was eventually broken. We evacuated them to safety. Another sliver of good fortune to see if bad. Given what happened to the Rice Lenders, the Marionette's strengths may be limited in range. And what of Iron Axe's army? They were under attack by zombies. I also received word, but we cannot afford to send help. I fear they may still be fighting the undead. We must go aid them. Advance. Oh man. This is a long section. Eight Iron Axe. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Peacemaker Glorious Princess. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.